With Swades at quarterback, the captain runs out to his left, scores the fifth Syracuse TD midway through this, the fourth quarter, and when Yates adds the extra point, it's Syracuse 35, Kansas 15. After a Kansas punt is pulled, the Jays are deep in orange territory. Flash bars back to pass. It's intercepted by sophomore center Bob Stem. The young linebacker goes 87 yards for what seems like another Syracuse tally. But hold the phone. Wait. A flag's been dropped. Syracuse is penalized for pass interference at its own 13-yard line. So on the next play, Hadel cracks off tackle. He goes... 35 to 21. Building in the opening quarter, the Terrapins. His kick is blocked by Roger Davis. And the ball rolls out of bounds at the narrow. Five plays later with Dave Surrett holding. It's Bob Yates kicking a Syracuse field goal from the 15-yard line. And Syracuse is on top of Maryland, three to nothing. Late in the first quarter, Betty, the quarterback, is passing for Maryland. John Nichols intercepts for Syracuse at the Terps 25, goes to the 21-yard line, fumbles, but the ball is out of bounds. First down, Syracuse. Waites takes the pitch out, and he's back. Complete to Fred Maltino for a Syracuse TD. Syracuse leads 9 to nothing when the extra point attempt is no good. Early now in the second quarter at the Maryland 26, Ernie Davis flanked out left. Comes back, takes his hand off from Surrett, gets a good hole off the strong side, and the Elmira Express reads for his first touchdown of the season. The Orange also pick up two extra points for a lead of 17 to nothing. After exchange of punts, Wayne Fletcher's on the move for Maryland. Bob Stem tackles him hard, and there's a fumble. Dick Seidler recovers for Syracuse at Terrapin 15. On the next play, John Nichols, a junior from Cortland, has the assignment, moves for a 13-yard gain to the two-yard line. With first down and goal to go, it's Nichols again for this touchdown. Syracuse leading 23 to nothing when a try for two extra points fails. In the third quarter, Maryland stops Syracuse at the 11-yard line. Then Betty in the eye formation is smacked guard by Ken Erickson. Fumbles at the three-yard line. The ball's recovered by Gene Grabowski for a Syracuse touchdown, and Syracuse wins 29 to nothing. In the first quarter, Syracuse marches 59 yards for a score. Art Baker helps out as he rams for five yards to the Navy 20. From the Navy two-yard line, Ernie Davis leads blocking here as Surrett fakes Baker, keeps and scores himself for a 6-0 margin. It becomes 7-0 when Yates adds the extra point. Later, in the first quarter, Navy is threatening. Joe Tranchini fires this 14-yard pass to Ronnie Brandquist for a first down all the way to the Yaren 19 line. The Navy drive carries into the second period at the Syracuse five-yard line. Franchini goes back to pass. Maura Yeoman supplies some strong pressure. Franchini throws, but it's intercepted by Art Baker at the four-yard line. Now watch the Erie fullback turn loose all the speed he can muster. Blockers protecting his path. Art lengthens his stride. Gallops 96 yards for a 13-0 Syracuse lead. And it's that way also when the extra point try backfires. Later in the second quarter, Navy's driving again at the 15-yard line. Franchini throws, but this time Ernie Davis is there to steal, and the middies are halted once again. Then the Orange score in seven quick plays. Here's Surrett bluffing the handoff. Now throwing a 37-yard touchdown pass to Schwedes. Syracuse enjoys a merry margin of 19 to nothing, then 20 to nothing when Yates splits the upright. In the third quarter, Syracuse drives 68 yards for its fourth score. At the Navy 35, Ernie Davis rambles 11 yards for a first down to the midi 24. Here in the 14th play of the drive, Art Baker gets good blocking from B. Miller, Tarbox, Rod Davis, and Skinecki as he busts 13 yards and a 26 to nothing Syracuse edge as the extra point try fails. On the next to last play of the third quarter, Navy finally does score. Franchini hits Matalavich. All alone at the five-yard line on this 12-yard pass play, it's Syracuse 26 and Navy 6. Late in the fourth quarter, Navy in possession of zone 20. Franchini throws to the far side, caught by Tom Albuchart, but Mark Weber commits football robbery. He steals the ball away and makes his 30-yard getaway as Syracuse sinks the Navy 32 to 6.
In the opening quarter, Crusader kicking specialist Barry Bachman punts all the way to the Syracuse 26. And back comes Ernie Davis for a 20-yard return to his own 46-yard line. Three plays later at the Crusader 49. Surrett slides left. Fake. Pitches out to Schwedes, but Dick Skinner steals the ball. Skinner running 55 yards for the lead touchdown as Holy Cross is on top six to nothing. Later in the opening quarter at the Syracuse 48, Schwedes takes a pitch out with Baker leading the way, and the orange captain moves all the way to the Holy Cross 23-yard line for a gain of 29 yards before he's forced out of bounds. Three plays later, Syracuse back at the cross 25. Surrett rolls out right and fires to the end zone. Catches it for a TD. Yates also adds the extra point. Syracuse leads now 7-6. Midway in the second quarter at the cross 28. Homebred sophomore Dick Easterly rolls out deep to his right. He's not passing, though. He keeps and he's away. Easterly picks up 18 yards all the way to the 10-yard line. Three plays later from the cross 8-yard line. Easterly at quarterback, pitches, connects with Gilbert at the five. Erickson throws a key block. Gilbert scores as the orange go 34 yards in six plays. When Gerlich adds the extra point, it's Zurich 14, Holy Cross six. Late in the second quarter after Holy Cross pass is intercepted, Ernie Davis hits the right side with Bruce Tarbox and Baker blocking. He's loose to the 25-yard line. Goes for another Syracuse TD. It's 20 to six when Gerlich's point after try is no good. Before the first half ends, following the interception of another Crusader pass, Easterly is passing from his own 34-yard line. In by Sweeties, the orange captain held on this 26-yard gain to the Crusader 40. Syracuse moved forward to the 19, with only a few seconds left in the half. Easterly now spots someone. He hits Sweeties at the goal line. It's another TD, and becomes 28 to 6 at the end of the first half. Following the third quarter kickoff, Syracuse marches successfully again. On second down, Davis hits Maltino for a 10-yard gain to the Holy Cross 49. Now five plays later at the cross 34, Surrett set the pass. He fires, and Jerry Skinecki gathers it in. Syracuse tallies in seven explosive plays, and when Yates boots the extra point, it's 35 to 6. Early now in the fourth quarter, another touchdown drive. This time of 62 yards. Mark Weber back for a handoff. He drives 18 yards to the Holy Cross. Nine-yard line. On the very next play, Gary Schwedes receives fine blocking from the sizable seven. Hits nine yards off the short side for the game's final score. It's Syracuse 42, Holy Cross 6. In the first quarter, Syracuse drove 73 yards for a score. Here's Baker cracking through plenty of daylight all the way to the four-yard line in Mountaineer territory. Then two plays later, Schwedes cracks the short side behind Yeomans from the two-yard line. Syracuse leads 7 to nothing when Yates boots the extra point. Into the second quarter from the Syracuse 20. Surrett half rolls left. He throws to Skinecki at the Syracuse 45. A fine block by Ernie Davis. Jerry's down the far sideline all the way to the Mountaineer 20-yard line for a gain of six yards. Replay, Wadey scores, and it's 14-0 when Yates' extra point try is good again. Second stands of the orange score once more. Davis flank left, Baker crosses. Ernie's hand of the ball has a good hole on this scissors play. He outruns the West Virginia secondary, goes 57 yards, and it's Syracuse 20, West Virginia nothing. Steamroller does not stop. Later on from the West Virginia 25, Yates kicks his second field goal of the season. It's Syracuse 23, West Virginia nothing. And before the first half ends, Syracuse tallies again at the West Virginia 39. It's Easterly passing, complete to Tom Gilberg, and Tom goes to the 20-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. On the next play, a pitch out to Weber. Mark throwing, hits Ken Erickson in the end zone, and when Gerlich adds the point after it, Syracuse on top, 30 to nothing. In the third quarter, another orange drive from the Syracuse 33. Davis hits the short side, a 19-yard gallop to the West Virginia 48. Four plays later, on the scissors maneuver. Davis with that good blocking, with his good speed, he romps 29 yards for his second six-pointer of the day. It's Syracuse 37, West Virginia nothing after Yates kicks the point after. Now the first play of the final quarter for the last TD. Mark Weber bangs the cross from the two-yard line. The extra point is also good by Gerlich. Syracuse wins 44 to nothing. In the first quarter, there's Mike Ditka is putting from his own end zone. And he kicks high upfield. 
But it begins to fall dead at the pit 37 yard line where Larry Vignali downs the ball for Pitt. Three plays later, it's the red at quarterback. The sophomore throws from the pit 38. It's a strike to Jerry Skinecki, and he's brought down at the eight yard line. Then on fourth down inside the one, it's Wadey's on a straight dive, scoring when Yates adds the extra point. It's a seven nothing lead for Syracuse. Midway through the second quarter. Ernie Davis ends a 62-yard drive when he takes this handoff, even fools our Lensman with his speed, and he scores on a 25-yard run. The lead goes to 14 to nothing on Yates' extra point. Here's part of an orange 76-yard third quarter mark at the pit 40. Schwedius comes back for this reverse, swings smartly around the left side, and he's off for a 16-yard gain to the Panther 23. On the next play, it's Surrett. Shovel passing to Davis. Ernie laterals to Baker. And Art races up the middle like a peacock. It's another Syracuse TD. And after Yates adds the point after, Syracuse leads 21 to nothing. Into the fourth quarter now. We're down at the pit 36. Easterly fires a screen pass to Gary Fallon. The young sophomore from Watertown races behind a wall of blockers to the 11-yard line where he trips and falls. Then four plays later, at the one-yard line, Weber drives through for a TD. The extra point kick is also good. It's 28 to nothing. Late in the day, Pitt finally threatening. Dave Krause passing. Complete to Kuprock for a first down at the Syracuse four. On the very next maneuver, 30 seconds. Fires, but Dan Rakowitz intercepts at the goal line. He heads for the sideline. And this third string fullback is on his way. He races 100 yards for the game's final touchdown. And when George Frankovich adds the extra point, Syracuse beats Pittsburgh 35 to nothing for its sixth win in a row. Midway in the opening period. Zaret keeps on a third down running play. And Dave is off for good yardage. Then he's hit, fumble, and Richie Lucas recovers for State at the Lions 45. State drives to the orange 17, and Roger Kaufman, number 46, takes from Lucas, rifle through the right side, goes for the game's initial score, and State leads six to nothing. Sam Stellatella tries the extra point. It's off to the left, no good. State is still in front, six nothing. Then Henry Opperman, Kicks off to Syracuse. It's taken by Surrett at the orange 29. Davis finally halted at his own 33. Syracuse starts driving back, goes deep to state territory at the state 36. Surrett passing. Nichols makes a fine catch for a first down at the state 23. Four play later, the orange are even deeper. Surrett throws this time to the end zone, but Dick Hoke intercepts to halt the orange drive. After state is forced to punt, Syracuse starts driving again at the state 32. Davis gets away on the scissors play. He dodges and fights his way for 15 yards to the state 17. A penalty drops Syracuse back to the 33. Needs a big maneuver. He pitches to this side. Complete to Fred Martino. Fred bouncing off tacklers goes all the way to the 11-yard line for a gain of 22 yards. Two plays later at the 6-yard line. Tweedy is taking a pitch out from Surrett. He's across the goal line. Syracuse 6, Penn State 6, with nine minutes left in the first half. Now Yates back to try the point after. Bob kick. It's good. Syracuse 7, Penn State 6. Last play of the first half. Syracuse trying to score again. Tweedy has a pitch out. Now the orange captain passes. But Sam Sobchak intercepts at his own 30-yard line to close out the first two periods of play. After State is forced to punt in the third period, Syracuse is on the move. At the orange 44, Art Baker smacks the middle. He just will not be dropped. And finally, he's covered after gaining 12 yards to the State 44. Four plays later at the State 23, fourth and four. Surrett keeps. Move. And he's away. He gets 13 yards and a first down to the State 10-yard line. Four plays later at the five. Surrett fakes Baker, comes to the sideline. Now he throws, complete to Baker. And Syracuse is on top of Penn State, 13 to six. Gates back to try for the extra point. Bob kicks. 
It's good again. Syracuse 14, Penn State 6. To the final play of the third quarter, Syracuse at the State 41. Easterly is off to the races. And as the clock closes out the quarter, Dick rollers for a 14-yard gain to the State 27. Syracuse drives deeper to the five-yard stripe. Then Davis goes for another TD. It's Syracuse leading 20 to 6. Yates goes for the extra point. Big Bob boots it. But it's no good. And it's still 20 to 6, and Syracuse is leading. Yates goes to work again. And Bob kicking off with a strong left toe. And there's sophomore Roger Kaufman taking the ball right at the goal line. Comes straight ahead. It's a key block from Earl Kohlhaus. Cuts out to the sideline. Picks up more speed with each stride. Syracuse just misses catching him. He goes 100 yards for a comeback Penn State tally. Here's the extra point attempt. Lucas tries for two. He passes to Hope, but it's incomplete. It's Syracuse 20, Penn State 12. The teams exchange punts. Syracuse forced to kick again. Yates is back to boot, but Andy Stinchula blocks it. The ball rolls out to the sidelines. Martino reaches it, but Sobchak drives him away, and the ball goes to the one-yard line, and it's Penn State ball first and goal to go. On first down, watch Sobchak, the fullback, scoring. It's 20 to 18 now, and everyone's tense, awaiting the extra point try. State goes for two extra points. Lucas hands off to Kaufman, but he's stopped by Grabowski and Brown, and Syracuse still leads late in the fourth quarter, 20 to 18. So Opperman kicks off fairly late now in the fourth quarter. Davis gathers it in at the seven-yard line. He tries to stay in bounds, but just can't and steps out. The Arms do keep control, drive strongly to four first downs. Out of the 28, for example, Baker squirms through the middle, fights for nine precious yards to the 37. Upfield further, just before the Orange can move again, the game comes to a close. Syracuse wins the game of games 20 to 18, becomes the number one team in the nation and still undefeated. When Syracuse recovers a Raider fumble, a score comes in three plays from the 25-yard line. Surrett passes for a touchdown to Schwedes. Syracuse also adds the extra point, gets away to a 7-0 lead. Syracuse takes less than six minutes later to score. Schwedes rolls over from the four-yard line with a massive blockers. The Orange get two extra points to make it 15 to nothing. Syracuse then smothers another Colgate fumble. Easterly fakes a pitch out and throws a touchdown pass to Erickson, and it's 23 to nothing after two more extra points. The Orange get their fourth TD of the first period when Easterly, rolling out to his left, escaping tacklers, hits Brokaw at the 15-yard line. Pete goes the rest of the way on a 50-yard pass play, and Syracuse adds the point after for a 30 nothing advantage. It's becoming a rout. Touchdown number five in the second quarter. Surrett from the Colgate 12 passes complete to Skanecki. Two extra points follow for a 38 to nothing margin. Before the half ends, here's touchdown number six from the Colgate 24. Weber with a pitch out and passes complete to Gilberg. Syracuse kicks the extra point and leads at halftime 45 to nothing. Another Syracuse TD in the third period. Watch Easterly at the Colgate 10, hitting Gilberg. It's 52 to nothing when Gerlich converts. Quarter the Syracuse 44. Davis with a pitch out. Off to the right side. Locked up at his own 47. Slips by northward of the Colgate. Now reverses his field. He swings around to the other sideline. And Ernie's off on this crackerjack. 56-yard run. And it's 58 to nothing. Colgate again fumbles. Loses control. So Art Baker crashes over for a 64 to nothing Syracuse lead. Final touchdown of the day at the Colgate 13. Weber takes the pitch out from Easterly, swings around the left side and goes across. Syracuse wins its eighth in a row, 71 to nothing. Syracuse strikes early in the first quarter. A 63-yard mark ends when Surrett rolls out right at the 17-yard line. Fires to Schwedes in the end zone. And it's 6 to nothing, Syracuse. Late in the quarter, Syracuse begins another drive. Here at the BU 44, Pete Brokaw takes a handoff. He charges forward all the way to the Boston 25 for a gain of 19 yards. Driving into the second period. 
Davis carries in for the second score from the five-yard line. The point after fails, and Syracuse has a 12-0 lead through to the halftime. In the third quarter, first down to the big 44, Tarbox pulls out, knocks out Pat McHugh, and Garris Wade is the outstanding back of the day. Robs for a 41-yard touchdown run, and Syracuse is still in front, 18 to nothing. Before the quarter comes to a close, Syracuse plods 69 yards for another six-pointer. Davis carries over for the TD. He also runs for two extra points at 26 to nothing. Last play of the third quarter. Nichols goes 12 yards from the Boston 45 to the Boston 33. Fifth play of the final period. Swades carries into the end zone from the one-yard line, and it's uh, 32 to nothing. Davis then intercepted a BU pass for another TD. Later in the quarter, Whitey Reimer carries from his own 36, clears the left side, now reverses the other way, and Reimer scurries 49 yards to the Boston 15-yard line before he can be dropped. On the next play, it's Nichols busting up the middle, untouched for the final TD. Syracuse wins its ninth in a row, 46 to nothing. After Syracuse drove 57 yards for its first score in a 7-0 lead, Bob Yates kicked off to the end zone, and it's a touchback. But UCLA could not gain and had to kick, so it became orange ball at its own 28-yard line. Second unit quarterback Dick Easterly swing on the left corner. He picks up lots of steam. The Syracuse sophomore begins to penetrate Bruin territory, and he goes to the u 47 for a gain of 26 yards. On the very next play, Dynamo Dick dancing again. Easterly swings out the other way, moves around the right corner, and he's just short of another first down by inches. Then Mark Weber receives the assignment. Mark's moving on the scissors play. He cracks through for a first down to the UCLA 23. It's a gain of 14 yards. Four plays later at the Bruin 15, Easterly needs a big one. He begins to pull it out of the bag. Throws complete for a touchdown to Weber, and Syracuse leads 13 to nothing. Here's Gerlich trying the extra point with Easterly holding. Cannonball boots it. It's good. Syracuse 14, UCLA nothing. Syracuse starts another drive in the second quarter from the orange 42. It's Bobby Hart, number 19, back on a reverse around the left side. And Hart gallop for six yards to his own 48. Four plays later at the U-Plan 38-yard line. Johnny Nichols, the fullback, goes twisting through the middle. A first down to the Bruin 31. Two plays later at the 27-yard line. Easterly goes to work in the air, hits Weber at the 25. Mark keeps charging forward. He's finally halted at the 16 for a first down and a gain of 11 yards. Then five plays later at the one-yard line. Easterly sneaks in for the score. Easterly holding now for the point after. And Yates hitting this one. It's good. Syracuse 21, UCLA nothing. Gates kicking off. And Johnson takes Big Bob's boot inside the goal line. He begins to return it back swiftly. Shakes loose from Syracuse tacklers. He's almost away, but finally he's dropped in his own 44. UCLA fighting the first half clock as Kilmer throws a screen pass to Gain. Orange defenders are knocked down. The play is good for 30 yards as Gaines is forced out at the Syracuse 26. Kilmer, the tailback, still trying, going to the air. He throws the screen pass once more to Gaines again over at this side. And the speedy wingback flies to the 20-yard line before the Orange can knock him out of bounds. With time all important. UCLA will take to the air again. Kilmer throws this time, caught by Johnson for a touchdown with 50 seconds left in the first half. Now the try for two extra points. 
It's Kent Smith, the tailback this time, breaking over left tackle, and he goes in from the three-yard line at Syracuse 21 UCLA halftime. Following the scoreless third quarter, it becomes the fourth quarter at the Syracuse 23. Tweedy shoots over the left side. He has good daylight, breaks into the open, and he steams all the way to the UCLA 37-yard line for a good gallop of 40 yards. Two plays later at the 34. It's Ernie Davis this time over the right side. And Ernie busts through for 11 more yards to the 23-yard line. First down and 10 to go. As Schwedes goes off the left side. This time he outruns UPlan defenders and scores his 16th touchdown of the season. It becomes 27 to 8. The extra point try. The arms go for two extra points as Surrett rolls out right and passes to Gilmer. Complete. It's Syracuse 29, UCLA 8. Later in the fourth quarter at the UPlan 35, Easterly slips out to his right, looks for a pass receiver. And finally throws a short one complete to Ron Bartlett. A 13-yard gain to the 22-yard line. Two plays later at the 21. It's Bobby Hart cracking off the left side as he takes the pitch out. And he goes for a 9-yard gain to the 12-yard line. Two plays later with Easterly number 49 still running the offense. He throws a pass complete to Weber for the fifth orange TD of the day. With Easterly holding and Gerlich kicking, the Orange make it 36 to 8. A few minutes later, Syracuse has scored an undefeated season, and the team carries Ben Schwartzwalder off the field. Welcome to Dallas in the 1960 Cotton Bowl Classic. Before 76,000 fans on New Year's Day, the mighty orange men from Syracuse University come into the Cotton Bowl to meet the challenge of the University of Texas Longhorns. It's the official Southwest Conference postseason bowl game, the 24th in the series of great Cotton Bowl football classics. Syracuse is the undisputed national champion. Undefeated, untied, and tens ranked number one in the nation. Texas is one of the tri-champions of the Southwest Conference. The Longhorns won nine games, lost only one during the regular season. They are ranked number four in the nation. The stage is set for an exciting, thrill-packed game, and that's just what we're about to see. Syracuse wins the toss, elects to receive. Bobby Lackey kicks off for Texas. The ball goes down to the Syracuse seven-yard line. And Ernie Davis brings it straight up the middle to his own 26. Here's the first play from scrimmage in the ball game. Baker hits into left guard and he loses a yard. Surratt, the quarter for Syracuse. Drops back to pass. Schwede's the intended receiver. But it's incomplete. And Syracuse has penalized 10 yards for holding on the play. Now watch this one. On third down, Schwede's takes a pitch out. Rifles a long pass to Ernie Davis, who makes a leaping catch and rambles all the way for a Syracuse touchdown. The play covers 87 yards to set a new major bowl record for the longest touchdown pass play, and it's Syracuse's longest play of the season from scrimmage. Yates' kick is good, and the score is Syracuse 7, Texas nothing. Less than a minute and a half deep in the ball game. Yates kicks off for Syracuse. Collins takes it on the Texas two and rambles out to the Texas 17 yard line. First and 10 for the Longhorns. Branch with the ball. He hits left guard and goes for four. Second coming in six now. Collins tries right end and gets six yards before being run out of bounds. First and 10 now on the Texas 27 yard line. That's Branch with the ball up the center for two. Let's try it again, and Branch slices into the line, and this time he goes for five yards. That brings up third and three, and here's the pitch out to Branch around right end, but it's good for only two yards. That brings up the fourth down try, and Collins is the man in deep punt formation. His kick is a good one, and down to the Syracuse 21. However, 
A holding penalty is called against Syracuse, so Texas has a first and ten on the Syracuse 49-yard line. Watch Gerwitz this time. He takes the handoff and scampers through right guard for nine yards down to the Syracuse 40-yard stripe. Lackey with the ball, he's badly rushed this time, and his attempt at a screen pass fails. Branch hits right guard, but fails to gain the necessary yard, so that brings up the fourth down try again. Lackey heavily rushed on a pitch out attempt. The pitch out goes wild, and Skanecki recovers for Syracuse on the Texas 48. Here's Ernie Davis with the ball. Power through right tackle, and he goes for a gain of six yards. Gary Schwedes with the pitch out this time. He gets some nice blocking. Circles left in for five yards, so it's first and ten for Syracuse on the Texas 37. Quarterback Surrett holds on to that ball. Oops, he slips down and loses about four yards on the play. Surrett again keeps, and he gets about a yard through right tackle. Surrett back, tosses to Schwedes, complete on the Texas 33, but Syracuse is ruled to have an illegal receiver downfield, a 15-yard penalty. Surrett keeps, and here he goes around right in for five yards out to the midfield strike. Now it's fourth down. Syracuse back to kick, and the ball goes out of bounds on the Texas 32-yard line. Both alternate units in the game now. Texas with the ball. Dottle hits left guard for a yard. Syracuse declines a penalty against Texas on the play. Russell tries right in. Gets only one yard. Cotton fumbles that ball. However, he recovers. Loss of a yard. Syracuse again declines a penalty against the Longhorns. Now it's fourth down. Collins back to kick. There it is, and it goes for 41 yards down to the Syracuse 26. Easterly fumbles the kick but he makes the recovery on his own 26-yard line. There's Nichols. Up the middle, gets about one yard. Second coming in nine for Syracuse. Easterly fades, tries to run, ends up losing a yard, and Syracuse draws a five-yard penalty for offside. Weber this time hits off tackle and he goes for about two. Gilberg back to kick. And out of bounds it goes on the Syracuse 45 yard line and the Longhorns take over. On a keeper this time, Cotton gets two straight up the middle. Watch the double reverse that sends Collins into right tackle for a two yard gain. Ramirez takes the pitch out, comes around left end, picks up about five yards. That brings up third down and one needed. Here's the fourth down try. Cotton takes it inside tackle for two. Texas has a first and ten on the Syracuse 34. The ball to Collins this time. He picks up two yards off right tackle. Cotton elects to keep, goes inside left end for a seven-yard pickup, and the Syracuse starting unit returns to the game. Now it's third and one. Cotton's jump pass intended for Cleo Holm incomplete. The handoff to Dottle, who hammers into right tackle on the fourth down try, and the ball goes over as the first quarter ends. Syracuse seven, the University of Texas nothing. Syracuse runs from its own 25. Surrett keeps, but is down for a loss of three. Schwedes runs nicely through left tackle, gains about 15 before being run out of bounds. Baker hits right guard for a yard. Ernie Davis gets six, but Texas is penalized 15 yards for holding on the play, giving Syracuse first and 10 on the Texas 46. So 
The Rat attempts a handoff this time, but Doak charges into the Syracuse backfield to break it up. Jones recovers for Texas at midfield. The Longhorns own the ball. This time they try a double reverse, but Gerwitz loses a yard on the play. Gerwitz, halfback pass to Blanche is fumbled and recovered by Schulte for the steers, but Texas draws a five-yard penalty, an illegal forward pass. Cotton on the keeper this time, loses two. And Syracuse declines a holding penalty against the Longhorns. That brings up the fourth down try, and Collins back to do the kicking. Gets it away, and it's good for 38 yards. Syracuse runs from its own 20. First and 10. Watch Ernie Davis break into the secondary for a gain of 19 yards in a Syracuse first on its own 39. Baker rips up the middle for seven yards. Second coming in three now. Surrett keeps, runs for another seven, and a first down on the Texas 47. The Longhorn alternate unit in the game now. Baker takes a pitch out and goes around left end for a seven-yard gainer. Surrett passes to Matino, complete for 13 yards, and another Syracuse first down. Syracuse keeps the ball, sweeps around right end for a pickup of 11, and it's first and 10 for the Orange men on the Texas 16. Here's Ernie Davis powering his way up the middle for a gain of five yards. Schwedes with the ball, back to throw the halfback pass. Complete to Skanucky. Ramirez runs him out of bounds on the Texas one yard line. First and goal, Schwedes rams into left guard, but he is stopped cold. Second coming, still goal to go. Surrett keeps this time, batters at the middle, but again, no gain. That brings up the third down try for Syracuse, down on the Texas one-yard line. Surrett tries again, the middle of the line, but again, the Longhorns hold. So that brings up the fourth down try. And on fourth down, give the ball to Ernie Davis. He goes into the end zone for the Syracuse touchdown. Syracuse 13, Texas nothing. The Syracuse pass by Surratt for the extra points falls incomplete. The Texas draws a holding penalty. Syracuse gets another try. This time, Surratt's pass to Ernie Davis is complete for the two points. And Syracuse leads 15 to nothing. Yates will do the kicking off for the Orange men. Down to the Texas seven yard line, Collins has it. And he's off and running. Watch him go. Out to the Longhorn 42 yard stripe. Saxton back to pass. Intended for Collins this time, but it falls incomplete. Saxton passes again. Gilberg uh, comes in to stop him for a big loss, but Syracuse penalized 15 yards for holding on the play. That brings up third and six. Here's Collins on the draw, and he's going for seven yards. Good for a first and ten on the Syracuse 45. Jump pass by Saxton, incomplete. Saxton tries to pass, but he is smothered for a five-yard loss. The Longhorns attempt the airways again. Saxton passing. This time he gets it away, complete to Gerwitz for a seven-yard gain. Now it's fourth down. Lackey goes into deep punt formation. Pass from center is low. Lackey scoops it up, gets away a pass, complete to Minnick, the Texas center. The Longhorns draw a five-yard penalty for an illegal receiver, and the ball goes over on downs to Syracuse on the Syracuse 48. Hart loses a yard. He fumbles the ball but recovers for the Orange men.
Nichols tries right end, but he is stacked up for a yard loss. Easterly, back to pass this time, complete to Erickson for a gain of nine yards. This brings up fourth and three. Gilbert kicks for 39 yards all the way down to the Texas six. Gerwitz picks it up and he returns it to the Longhorn 15. Gerwitz has stopped at left guard for a loss of about two yards this time. But the Longhorns try the same thing again, and this time Gerwitz picks up two. That brings up third down. Lackey goes back to deep punt formation, and again the snap from center is bad. He gets a pass away intended for Gerwitz, but it falls incomplete. Collins in deep punt formation gets his kick away, 35 yards to midfield. Easterly picks it up and returns it to the Texas 41. Watch Easterly drops back to unlimber a long pass to Erickson for an apparent touchdown, but hold everything. It's ruled the ball was fumbled out of the end zone for a touchback. And meanwhile, back at the line of scrimmage, a holding penalty has been called against Syracuse. Tempers flare and something of a rhubarb ensues. But now let's get back to play. Texas takes over on the touchback on its own 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Longhorns. And here is Saxton with the ball around right end and he picks up about seven yards before he's smothered under. Again it's Saxton, this time around left end for six. And time runs out in the first half end. Syracuse 15, Texas nothing. The Cotton Bowl is famous for its colorful pageantry and between the halves the crowd is treated to a stirring exhibition of marching and music. The brilliant halftime spectacle gets underway with a sparkling performance by the fine Syracuse University marching band. 100 men and a girl. Next, the University of Texas Longhorn Band, 175 members strong, takes the field for its part of the halftime entertainment. Aptly titled Show Band of the Southwest, the Longhorn Band performs in an intricate series of well-drilled maneuvers. The spotlight now falls on everybody's favorites, the fancy-stepping Kilgore Rangerettes, who perform their famous precision dancing routines to the delight of spectators. And the halftime festivities are concluded with a massed formation that includes the Syracuse and Texas bands, the Rangerettes and Ranger Band, five outstanding high school bands, and the U.S. Marine Band from Paris Island. The massed band spelling out in gigantic letters the words Cotton Bowl all the way across the gridiron. Now, back to football. To begin the second half, Yates kicks off. A nice one all the way down to the Texas 10-yard line. The ball taken by Collins, and he runs it back to his own 33. First and 10 for the Longhorns. The pitch out to Ramirez. And he's off and running for about nine yards before he goes out of bounds. Texas, however, draws a 15-yard penalty for holding on the play. So move the ball back to the Longhorn 26-yard line. Once more, the ball goes to Ramirez, and this time he picks up about four yards. Third coming in 12. Lackey. Fakes a jump pass, drops back, and throws deep to Collins. He grabs the ball on the Syracuse 30, and he goes all the way for the score. The play covers 69 yards, and it's Texas' longest play of the year. 15 to 6, Syracuse out in front. And here's the try for the extra point. 
Lackey passes to Ramirez, but it's no good. And Syracuse leads 15 to 6. Lackey to kick off. Down to the Syracuse 14 yard line. Baker takes it there. And a nice return out to his own 32. First and 10 for the Orange men. Surrett back to pass this time. There it is, complete to Skanucky. A gain of nine yards on the play. Baker slices off right guard for about six yards, and Syracuse has a first and ten on its own 47-yard line. Schwedes tries left end, but whoops, he can't go. Surrett back to pass. There it is to Matino. It's complete for nine yards. And Texas draws a 15-yard penalty on the play for a personal foul. First and ten now on the Texas 29. Here is Surrett, back to pass. Looks for Matino again. This time it's incomplete. And that was Surrett's first incomplete pass of the ball game. Baker, up the middle for about six. Watch the interception this time. Surrett drops back, intends a long one for Ernie Davis, but Cotton intercepts on the Longhorn one-yard line, and it's first and ten for Texas. Ball goes to Ramirez, and he brings it out all the way to the six-yard stripe. There's Branch moving off left guard for about three, out to the nine. Ramirez again, and this time he goes for four yards, and Texas picks up a first and ten on its own 13. Branch powers off left guard for a gain of about four. Collins back to pass. He intends it for Lee, but watch Ernie Davis intercept for Syracuse and run it back to the Texas 24-yard line. First and ten, Schwede's with the ball, but he stopped at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Here's the pitch out to Davis again. Watch him go. A brilliant run by Davis for 21 yards before he finally goes out of bounds on the Texas three-yard line. First and goal. Schwedes rips in the left tackle and over for the touchdown. Syracuse 21, Texas 6. Surrett's pass to Ernie Davis is good, and Syracuse leads 23-6 over the Longhorn. Here's Gerlich to kick off for Syracuse. Down to the Texas 10-yard line. Gerwitz picks it up. And he comes scampering out to his own 38. First and 10. Gerwitz again, and this time he goes for about two, out to the 40. Once more, Mr. Gerwitz put the ball. This time he tries the left side of the line, but he goes nowhere. Russell now, around right end, up to the line of scrimmage and goes for about three. And that brings up fourth down for Texas. Lackey goes back to kick. Here's his punt. Down to the Syracuse 23. Easterly takes it and moves it back to his own 34. But there he fumbles on a tackle by Minnick and Hayworth recovers for Texas on the Syracuse 34. First and ten for the Longhorns. Lackey back to pass. Intended for Cooper, but it's incomplete. Second coming in ten. Watch Dottle this time. Straight up the middle for about four. And here's the pitch out to Collins. He tries to go around right end, but no go. It's the fourth down try. Lackey back to pass, intends it for Ramirez. It's complete. The play goes for eight yards and a Texas first on the Syracuse 22. Doddle runs up the middle for three. Lackey is rushed badly this time, almost snowed under. 
but he gets his pass away and it's caught by Ramirez for a gain of 15. First down Texas on the Syracuse four. Ramirez hits off right guard for two. Second coming now and two needed. Watch Lackey on the keeper. He pounds into the line, picks up a yard, but not quite enough. Third coming in one. Lackey tries left guard again, but again, no gain. Now it's the fourth down try. The pitch out goes to Collins, who tries to run right in, but is tumbled down for no gain, and Syracuse takes over on its own one yard line. Nichols hits the center of the line, picks up a yard as the third quarter comes to a close with Syracuse leading Texas 23 to 6. Schwedes tries left tackle, no gain. Now Ernie Davis carries off right guard and he goes for about eight yards. Fourth down coming in one now, and Gilberg punts out to the Syracuse 45 yard line. The kick is taken by Gerwitz and returned to the Syracuse 29. Watch Ramirez on the double reverse this time, and he goes for about three. Ramirez again tries right tackle and picks up about four yards. Branch with the ball. And he is stopped right at the middle of the line for a loss of about one. Fourth down coming up and the pitch out goes to Collins. He fumbles and Roger Davis recovers for Syracuse on his own 29. There is the pitch out to Schwedes and he goes for three yards. Second and seven now. Davis runs through right guard for four. Once more, the ball goes to Davis. On a pitch out, he's run out of bounds for a loss of eight yards. That brings up fourth down now for Syracuse. Gilberg back to kick. Down to the Texas 39, and Ramirez brings it out to his own 46-yard line. First and 10. Lackey back to pass. Wobbly and incomplete. Second coming in 10. Here's the handoff to Branch and he powers up the middle and goes for 13 yards in the first and 10 on the Syracuse 41. Collins with the ball, off left guard for about four. Give the ball to Branch again. And this time he explodes up the middle and watch him go for 36 yards dragged in by Baker on the Syracuse one yard line. First and goal to go, the University of Texas. Branch with the ball, he fails to make yardage. Second and goal. Watch Lackey, he keeps, hits pay dirt for a Texas touchdown. Syracuse 23, Texas 12. The Longhorns go for two. Lackey throws to Schulte, complete on the goal line. It's Syracuse 23 and Texas 14. The Longhorns try an onside kick. Newman short boot recovered by Padgett for the Longhorns, but rub out the play and penalize Texas five yards for being offsides on the kickoff. Texas tries the onside kick again, but this time Newman's kick is gathered in by Erickson, who returns to the Syracuse 44. And oops, flags fly before any play gets underway, and both sides are offsides. Syracuse with the ball. Weber has it, and he is thrown for a three-yard loss. Surrett, back to pass, and it's complete to Bartlett for a gain of about eight yards. So Syracuse tries the air lanes again. Surrett passes, complete to Brokow for six yards, and a first down on the Texas 45. 
And here is Weber up the middle for about three yards. Brokaw runs inside right in, but the flags are down. And Syracuse is penalized 15 yards for holding. Now here's Surratt, back to pass. He gets a long one away, but it's incomplete. Once more, Surratt goes back to pass, and this time it's complete, but you saw the red flag down on the play, so erase it and bring the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. Now Surratt goes back to pass, decides to keep, and picks up Eight yards on the ground. Fourth coming now. Brokaw back to punt. And it's a beauty. A 52-yard kick that rolls dead on the Texas two-yard line. Saxton keeps, fumbles, recovers, and no gain for Texas. The second down try. Saxton tries right guard, and he picks up just about a yard. Branch takes the handoff, hits the middle, and he moves the ball for about six yards on the carry. Collins goes back to punt on fourth down. He kicks a long boomer. Picked up there by Bowers, he fumbles the ball, and Saxton recovers for Texas on the Syracuse 29. Here's Ramirez running the reverse, but all for no gain. Now Lackey goes back, throws a long pass intended for Moses, but it falls incomplete in the end zone. Time running out in the ball game. Lackey back to pass intended for Saxton, incomplete and almost intercepted. Texas takes to the airways again. Lackey back to pass intended for Saxton, once more incomplete, and Syracuse takes over on downs on its own 29. Less than a minute left to play, Easterly gets three yards right up the middle. Again, Easterly hits the middle, picks up a yard, and that's the end of the ball game. Syracuse 23, Texas 14.